Hello. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I just... I want to talk about something funny today because... I, I call it low vibrational bullshit. It's amazing. Um... <laughs> People thinking they can get one over on you still. It, it's... Uh, it's so fucking fun. So fun. Um, you know, there's still anger there and stuff because of it. Because it's just like, dude, really? Like, you're really making it worse. You know, it's already past the point where I give a fuck anymore. Like, you're already way past the point of, like, it being as worse as it could be. Uh, so and now it's just like you're just adding on to it. it, it it's And to me it's just funny because... Uh, like I said, low vibrational bullshit. I, uh, you know, I've been talking here lately about how I've, I've just felt like I've become so much more in tune and, and whatever, you know, and, um, just so much more intuitive and just feeling like I got all these answers that I needed by, you know, these crazy means that, you know, I couldn't have made this shit up, you know? But anyway, it's just, uh, you know, this person, they, they texted me today just a little bit ago, and, and, and it's just all this, like, lies still. I, you know, I would never betray you, and this and that and the other thing. Regardless of what you think, I still care about you, and, and I want us to be friends. And it's like, you have no fucking idea how impossible that is. It, it already was, but like I said, you're literally adding this, like, the sprinkles on top of the whole big sundae or the cake that you've already made that's, that's bullshit and lies. And low vibe bullshit. Like, so to me, it's just funny. It's like, you have no idea how much higher I've ascended up here than you could even fucking possibly hope for right now. It's apparent. You still think you're going to get me on this bullshit because I used to be on that bullshit before I really had this catastrophe happen to me and it opened me up, like, seriously opened me up. Being sober... And, and all that shit, and, and really, like, pushing myself, and, and running, and, you know what I mean? Like, it's done wonders for me. Not to mention on the spiritual end, like I said, I've always been spiritual more than religious, and, you know, I, I enjoyed going to church the other, the other week, but, you know, I didn't go this past weekend, and I, I told the gentleman that I, that, you know, was a little upset that I didn't go, but he understood, because I told him, I was like, I just don't want to be a hypocrite, like, I don't, it felt nice and everything, but it was more of the spiritual part of it that I was... I don't know. And, and I'm not downing church. I just, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I've always said that. I would rather be nothing than a hypocrite. But anyway, um, yeah, I just, uh, it's just funny to me because it's like, my God, dude, really? Like, just drop the bullshit by now. Like, I know why this person doesn't want to tell me because they know if I actually knew and I heard it from their mouth that it would be definitive that I would never want to speak to them again, but what they don't fucking realize is I already do because I had to get the answers on my own because they were so cold and distant. And that right there was an admittance of guilt. That is one of the, you know what I mean? It's like this person is so fucking wrapped up in their own ego and their pride. It's unreal. And it's low vibrational fucking retardedness. And I ain't down with none of it no more, dude. And it's funny that they're trying to still get in and it's like, dude, I, you have no idea. That shit will not work on me anymore. With nobody. That shit is not going to fucking work on me. So, just drop it. I, I mean, it's like, what the fuck, dude? I, it's crazy. It's crazy. It does not surprise me, though. It does not surprise me at all. Um, this person is just so desperate for me to still be in their life. Their life. I know they are. And I wanted to be able to be too, but the way they handled this, nope. There's no way, no fucking hell. Especially not with my daughter. Especially not with her. But with me, fuck no. Fuck no. And it's a real shame because I'd have, I'd have been there for him and looked out for him. I would have. It is what it is, I guess, you know. Again, their actions have caused my actions and I'm sure they'll think that I'm just trying to get back at them or whatever but I'm way past that because again that's low vibrational fucking thinking and bullshit I ain't got no time for it you've already had your karma from everything that I know that I still haven't divulged on this channel because I'm not doing that 
I'm just not doing it. Some people that I know personally have, have texted me and I've let them know what I feel. And two, uh, uh, well, at least the two people that have come forward already believe me and didn't think it was too fucking, they thought it was pretty crazy, but at the same time, it's definitely not something that couldn't have not happened. And again, I even told them, I don't care if you guys even believe me, and I love both of you dearly, but I don't care if you even believe me. I know what I feel, and that's the point. I don't need this person to try to bullshit me anymore. I don't need anybody to try to be on my fucking side. I don't care. The only motherfucker I trust is me. Because you know what? I'm the only motherfucker that's never let me down. It's that simple. It goes back to that self-love and all that shit, man. I'm just not on it no more. Not on it. If it ain't nothing that's any good for me at all, gone, dude. Or, or stopped dead in its tracks from the start and not even allowed to get anywhere in my life. It's not fucking happening anymore. It's not. This was enough for me to... Yeah. It just was. And I, I refuse to go back on this now. Like I said, I, I feel like I've gained something so wonderful that I'll never turn my back on it ever again. Because I've been feeling it coming on for years. But I was ignoring shit and then everything else. And that's what this person don't realize, that they think it's just about me feeling betrayed. No. I feel like I was lied to, manipulated, deceived. Pretty much all the fucking evil things you could do to a person. So no, you never loved me. And that was a hard fucking pill to swallow, but you never did. Because once I got into that mindset, then that is just one of a million times that I felt like I ascended to something greater because I was forced to. I was forced to not be able to have any kind of happy ending whatsoever or try to be civil with you at all. Excuse me. It's out below grass. I'm just a little perched. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's just... I, I, you know, part of me wants to say I hope the best for this person, but I really don't. I don't fucking give a shit. I mean, I do, but I don't. It, it's it's messed up. They, they, you know, there's a fine line between love and hate. And when you cross that shit, you don't come back. And even if you do, you don't come back fully. You just can't. You just cannot. And it's a damn shame. Because they don't feel that way. Which is weird to me because you're the one that did some of the most foul shit I've ever had known anybody to be done to them. Uh, it's just, wow. Wow, wow. You know, so, no. If you watch this, I don't fucking believe you. One bit. I know what I know. And I know that I could not have in a million years thought of this shit exactly how it came to me. And not only a dream, the one dream I've had in the past two fucking months, it's beyond that. It is feeling of, of downloads coming to me from a higher, you know, my, my spirit guides and shit, the, the things that watch out for me, the people or, or the ancestors or whatever they are. Like I've said, I, I, don't, I don't care if anybody believes me or not. I know some of the people out there do. There was a good friend of mine I talked to, to for about three or four hours last night, and, and she, she understands. But, you know, not too many people understand that. I... I I didn't even understand it until all this happened. Like, I didn't even realize that I had that. But once I did, I felt so... Like, the revelations that I came to or the, the downloads that came to me were very intense and they were very heartbreaking to deal with, but I felt like they were given to me in a way and through such a divine way and a spiritual way that it was a little more tolerable. I still felt peace knowing that I had finally got the answers that I needed that I wasn't getting from this person and still haven't gotten to this day because all they want to do is fucking lie and try to just cover up their own guilt and their own sadness and pain about what they actually did to somebody that genuinely loved them. I mean, I imagine the hell they're going through. It's worse than anything I went through a couple weeks ago. That's why I, I let it the fuck go. Let their guilt eat them alive. Let it. The only way they're ever going to free themselves is coming to be fucking truthful with me. But it's going to get to the point, and it pretty much already is, that I don't give a goddamn. Excuse my language, but I don't fucking care. I already know. 
you would just be validating what I already know, and it would be nice to hear it from your lips, but... You're too low vibe, man. You're too low vibe right now. You are. <laughs> Maybe when you fucking grow up a little bit. Maybe. But, again, I'm not going to be in your life, so I don't give a shit. You know, I'm just not going to be. I made my choice, and it is my choice. Just like it was my choice to call out to begging and pleading for answers... Because I was getting them, and I knew there was more to all this. And I wasn't getting them from this person. So I got them. In an unexpected way, and a lot sooner than I thought. But I got them. And as I said, for the second or third time now, I couldn't have even made this shit up if I, if I tried. I mean, it's definitely something that people do, and it's happened and shit, but it's beyond cheating. Um, it's just fucking grisly, dude. <laughs> The few people that know, I mean, they know it's, it's pretty grisly. And it's pretty fucked up. Really fucked up. But, yeah. You know, and sometimes, that's, that's the thing, when you're in this low vibration, like, you don't even realize that you're in it. You know what I mean? And this person was holding me back, keeping me in a low vibrational state. And I don't, fuck that noise, dude. I'm not going back. Like I said, I'm not going back. I've already developed these habits. I've already done so well for myself. I feel and look better than I ever have in my whole entire life. Fuck that noise, dude. I'm not going back. There is no way. Not only am I not ever going to have nothing to do with this person again, or anyone like them, or anyone that they fucking know, I just... Be gone. Have exercise the demons. No, but I, you know, fuck. It's just, I'm done. I'm done. I shed that skin and just bleh. I just, man, if you know somebody like this, get out of there. Get, get them out of your life or you get out of their life, whatever you got to do, because I'm telling you, these people will drag you the fuck down, man. They will damn near ruin you. A lesser person. It's crazy, but all we can do is hope for these people's souls or pray for their souls or whatever, you know. It's all you can do. They have to want to help themselves. It's just like any other thing when you try to help somebody, you know. They've got to want to help themselves after a certain point. They have to, or they're never going to change, ever. So, I guess that'll be it for today. Again, I kind of go off on rants and stuff, but I want to throw a little bit of humor in there, you know. I just... <sighs> Ugh. I'm getting myself out of this hell. Best believe. And I know on the other side it's going to be just so much more than I could have ever hoped for. Hopefully there'll be a mate over there for me. A good woman with good values. It'll treat me good. You know. It'll have even give and take in her heart. And, you know. Like I said, I know it's not too much to ask for, man. And there's somebody out there. I mean, hopefully you're looking for something like that, too. I'm being patient. Something's coming, it's coming. I'm working on me, I'm loving me. I'm looking and feeling better than I ever have in my life. I'm not putting a band-aid on all this bullshit. I'm sitting here fucking... Every fucking day. Every day. Dealing with it. Every day. Confronting it head on and hovering or... Jumping over the shit. Hurling it, rather. So. I'm going to be stronger for it. I already am. So, just one more reason I thank the spirits that, that guide me and have given me all this wisdom and guidance and, and got me off my ass and got me out running and doing all this other activity shit that makes me feel good. I still do plenty of lounging. I work a physical job, you know. I want to take a little bit of a break, you know. But I am pushing myself too. 
I love it. I'm learning how to fucking save money better and everything. Like, I'm just totally changing. I'm never looking back, dude, ever. So, if anybody's having something like this, just know it, it gets easier. It does. And I know I was one of those people I could barely believe anybody that was trying to tell me this in the first week or, or two of being in the throes of all this shit and, you know, friends of mine and whatever. And it just wasn't helping. But trust me, it, it will get better. You just hold on. Live your best life. That's all you can do. So, cheers to everyone living their best life. <laughs> loving themselves, loving each other as always. I love you all. Till Thursday, bye.